Everyone gathers this place paradise. For the past few days, a select few have been receiving me this message on their cell phones. Rumors are starting to spread. People say they're being sent by a survivor up on the surface. Give me a break. This is grade school level pranking. People actually believe this could be from the surface. How gullible can you get? Was it something I said? This message was sent, wasn't was sent from su uh, from inside the Ark. That's right. There's no doubt about it. This came from the surface. Wow. We're fairly sure we pinpointed the location it was sent from. I want you to go there and investigate. What exactly are we looking for? Confirm whether there are any survivors out there. What then? That depends on what your investigation turns up. If there's anyone remaining on the surface, the Ark will have to come up with a new policy. Officially, the number of people are left on the surface is zero, right? That's right. There's a lot riding on this, more than you can imagine. For some reason, this rumor is spreading quickly on the Ark. The central government is demanded to publish the truth. And I have to give them something in order to do that. I need to launch an investigation. Understood. Watch your back out there. Uh-huh. Surface entry complete. Moving toward the marked location. How long will it take? We'll arrive before the night is out. If there aren't any nasty surprises, that is. Let's go. Roger. Should we run in there? I'm so curious. It might be possible if you carry the commander. Oh, forget it then. Mass is too heavy for that. Let's just- Wow. Your body is mechanical and yeah, I'm somehow- Too heavy for you? What? Move out. She basically just called me fat. Nail, and I'm gonna kick you out of my party the chance I get. Damn. I did not stay up to not be able to get get freaking helm to then get insulted. No way in hell. Also, I'm not on auto. But it doesn't really matter because this is just 2,000 something power. I am curious though as to how difficult this can actually get I'm also curious as to how the hell they expect people that are free to play to possibly be able to get helm other than them re-rolling oh shit I forgot to look at the power balance that's what I get for being tired I don't think I have anyone that can do it though Huh. What's wrong? Does your stomach hurt? I just got a voice message. What does it say? Hold on. Everyone gathers. This place, paradise. Same as what we heard before. Is it just me or does it sound clearer? It's definitely easier to make out. There's less static. That means we're heading in the right direction. Let's keep going. Yes, Commander. So what does stage 2 give? Oh, gee. Thanks, devs, for giving us one credit box. That is equal to one hour of us being idle. Uh, and yeah, look, see, it took up one. So, one, two, three, four. We're gonna be stuck right here. We won't be able to go any further unless we spin gems. Why cap an event, man? Like, time gate the event if you want, but. Or make us only be able to grind like a certain amount of the resource a day. But why make it to where we can only do them once? The stage cannot be cleared more than once. I mean, unless hard mode unlocks and then you're able to do it there, I really don't know. So, the trusty bonus for Bonikes. Yeah, it's only Rappi. 
I have no one for this damn event. No one. And it was 400 per one. So if I'm only gonna be getting 50 per mission, then that means I'm only gonna be able to get freaking 250 of the points a day. Which means it'll take me two days just to get enough for one advanced voucher. Why? Like, it's astounding how bad this is. <laughs> I mean, arguably, the, we could get to a point that we could start grinding. We could. But yeah, it's currently almost seven. And I kind of want to try to re-roll and see what I'd get. Now, when I went to bed, I stupidly didn't think, you know what? I'm going to be sleeping past the reset time. So I ended up having to do this when I was in bed. I don't know which one we were on. I know we did this. I know we did this. Okay, that was B. So now we're on Anticipation A. I'm curious about something. Save it. You don't even have to know everything. You're reacting too strongly to a voice message. Then what should I do? Commander, I'm seeing a building ahead of us. Let's have a conversation about one thing. I was the first to speak. So let's talk about what I'm curious about. I'm curious too. During the first Rapture invasion, the entire human race fled to the Ark. In the de decades that followed, the Rapture laid waste to mankind's old home. They've demolished all the significant landmarks and slaughtered all the humans left on the surface. They operated with incredible precision, especially when it came to killing humans. On the surface, there may be a chance of coming across some old knickknacks or settlements. But the raptures didn't leave a single human alive. But the surface is a big place, isn't it? It'd be impossible to search every nook and cranny. How come you be how can you be so sure there aren't any survivors? So you've decided. Hmm. The surface is crawling with raptures. We couldn't possibly comb every inch of it. However, that didn't stop us from trying. For decades, we sent out search parties. But not a single living human was ever found. Not one. Not only that, we never received any distress signals. So the central government made an official statement. They claimed there were no survivors on the surface and called off any further searches. So it's unprecedented to be receiving a voice message like this. Exactly. Okay, now I understand. I just hope we can find some survivors. Likewise. Me too. Will that be so easy, though? I mean, again, these raptors are literally out to kill you no matter where you go, man. And the power just gets so ridiculously strong as well. Commander, I've just received another message. Everyone gathers. This place, paradise. Country. Country? I had my suspicions from the start, but now I'm more certain. Doesn't this sound like a broadcast directed to any survivors on the surface? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it's calling people to a specific location. That means there might be a settlement full of survivors. Why an entire settlement? If they're capable of broadcasting messages, they must have a somewhat d decent infrastructure besides they just sound said country. Or it could be the raptures, you know, 
have uh, broadcasting their own frequency, making it sound like survivors to drag people to them. It could be that. They could just be repeating the message that they heard over and over again. What is that one uh, creepy story I've always heard? Siren Head. It's, it's sort of like that. Doesn't Siren Head like repeat voices over and over again, trying to get certain people to, you know, follow the sound, the voice? It's similar to that, right? It's 100% a settlement. You might be right. Unease remains subdued. I'm not getting my hopes up. It'll only lead to disappointment. I still have hope. Me too. Really? Because again, it could just be something similar to Siren Head. <laughs> Blue light. Commander, the sun is setting faster than expected. This would be a perfect spot to set up camp. The hill will be up to our backs, so we'll only need to watch the front. Understood. I'll go set up some decoys. I'll come with you. Okay, thanks. Anis and Naons went to set up the decoys. The temperature and humidity look ideal. Let me know if you're not comfortable. What would you like for dinner? You? I'm not hungry. Damn. Very well. Happy? Yes. Do you think there's a settlement out there? If I'm being honest, no. Even if there is one, it's almost certainly being been raided. The raptors are consumed with the desire to attack humans. Even if there were enough survivors to constitute a settlement, it couldn't withstand a rapture attack. Humans are powerless in front of those foul creatures. Are you positive there's nothing out there? Never say never. Even if the possibility of anything existing is near zero, this search isn't in vain. I appreciate you saying that. Don't worry about it. Hey, she smiled again. Soon after, Anis and Neon came back. Rappi decided to keep watch while the rest of us went to sleep. I'm not sure how long I slept. It's still dark out. Everything is quiet. Despite all that, I still woke up. I felt as if we were being watched. Rap. Shh. Keep quiet. No sudden movements. It's looking right at us. What is? Straight ahead, 11 o'clock. I turned in the direction Rappi mentioned. All I see is complete darkness. Suddenly, in the darkness, I see what looks like bluish lights. Do you see it? I only see some kind of blue light. That's the light reflecting from their eyes. Tigers. Tigers? Four of them, two adults and two babies. I think it's a family. What should we do? So long as we don't make any sudden movements, they'll leave us alone. They don't look like they're on the prowl for food. As my eyes adjusted to the darkness, the tigers became more visible. Two of them are about three meters in length, and two seem to be babies. A deer carcass dangles from the jaws of one of the adults. The tiger stared at us for a while, then slowly turned around and left. All clear. That's my first time seeing a tiger in real life. Me too. That was terrifying. <laughs> that was absolutely thrilling! Yes, perhaps because there was an element of danger to it. There was once in an incident where ten tigers managed to take down a Nikkei. Wow. Dang. Tigers taking down a Nikkei? Man. If they'd rushed at us, I'd have, uh, I'd, I'd have had to open fire and alert the raptors to our position. It's a good thing they'd already su had a successful hunt. You can go back to sleep. I don't think I'll be able to sleep after that. I don't blame you. 
Now, if you wanted to, you know, let me rest on your lap, that'd be another issue altogether. I might be able to finally sleep. The next day. A tiger. Why didn't you wake me up? I've always wanted to see one. Which got you so upset this morning? A liger? Tiger. Tiger. I don't know how to do that in Japanese. <laughs> it's one of the big cats. A cat? How big is it? Twice our size, maybe even bigger. No way. Why didn't you wake me up? I'd have loved to see a tiger. Go find us another tiger. Yeah, and make it snappy. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Alright, and that is all that I've managed to do so far. So now, we can enter the war zone yet again. Also, I was extremely tired and said that the event literally, um... Yeah, wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Mainly because of the whole way to get points. I mean, still arguably isn't the way they did it. But either way, we come up with the missions. I've got this existed before I went to bed and I was annoyed. But yeah, we turn all these in, we get points. If we do all of the stages and collect this, we'll have enough for all 10 of the vouchers. I did this on my uh, other account. One with Yan and Scarlet. Now, the reason why I say that this isn't really the best ever in the game is because it's a chance to get points. You're not guaranteed to get your freaking points. Which is just ultimately stupid in all manners of it. Like, why do... Why? It's an event. You're supposed to be able to actually get points. You may not be able to fully finish it if you don't grind consistently. But for it to just be a chance, I thought it was just like an increase to the amount that you get from doing a mission with them, sort of like other events I've done in other gacha games. No, this one's just a chance to increase the chance of you actually getting lucky to get your mission currency. Like, oh my gosh. Is this the place? You no, know, we need to go a little further. Just in case, though, let's look around before we leave. You know, I don't think we'll turn up anything. The ranchers really went to town on this place. It's in shambles. That's funny. What is? What is it? I don't see any rapture footprints. Hey, you're right. Raptors walk on all fours and considering their weight, there's no way they wouldn't leave any tra tracks. But I can't see a single footprint. Commander, over here. A bullet casing. So, it wasn't raptors that did this. It was humans. One from a human fire wa firearm. There was a firefight. More like a surprise attack when bombardment by the look of it. Considering the lack of rapture tracks, I'd say you're probably right. Let's hurry and keep moving. This place gives me the creeps. W wait a minute. Uh, what happened to the light on her eyes? Honey, so you thinking of what I'm thinking? Uh, maybe. What is it? How come there aren't any bodies lying around? Right, raptors have no interest in collecting human bodies. Oh god. Were they strapped for food and they ate each other? If it was a surprise attack, this place would be littered with corpses. Could they have used some sort of super weapon? I'm not picking anything up. Certainly nothing that would vaporize a human body. Let's keep looking. Whoosh. What? Something here. Everyone take cover. Rapture's 500 meters out. They're headed this way. How did they find us? Engaging. Enemy, enemy neutralized. They really cuts with their pants down. If only, right? Commander, over there. 
It's a large building with an iron door in the direction Rappi is pointing. It's secured with a lock. The foundation of that building is slightly below ground. I'm willing to be... To bed, whatever's in there weighs a whole lot. Any chance that it might be raptures? Seems a little small for that. But I'll check for heat so it's just to be safe. I'm not picking up anything, coast seems clear. Let's check it out. We need to make this fast. We made a lot of noise during that fight. More raptures could show up any minute. That they can't. We ripped the lock off with that was in front of the door and went inside. A strange odor fills the room. Pretty bare bones. Seems like humans were living here. Master, look at this. Nalan points to a wall filled with photos. They are old and faded, but the smiling faces of those in the photos can be made out. They must have been taken at the theme park. They look so happy. They really do. You think we'll ever be able to take a photo like that? We could do that right now. There's a theme park in the ark, and it ain't sm like smiling is hard. That's not what you mean. These photos were taken before the invasion. There's something different about their smiles. I think I understand what you're saying. Master, can I take one of these? Take it. All objects on the surface are the property of the central government. You cannot claim anything as your own unless there's a proper reason for it. You heard her. Right. Rappy, let's head this way. Alright. Inside the room is another big door. It seems more heavily fortified than the door outside. Let's see. Are the dead bodies in here? The door made a creaking sound and opened slowly. The unusual odor is getting stronger. I'm heading in now. You think she'll find any machinery in there? You mean like what they use in the war? The commander used to fly one of those machines. Now it's been broken down and uses rapture parts. Oh my god. Ruffy, we're coming. No, stay back. Just stay back. I'll come to you. What was it? What was inside? We need to get out of here. Right now. Alright. But why? Commander. Let's go. Understood. Yeah, they're definitely not gonna let us know, right? Everyone gathers. This place. Paradise. Country. While following a road out of the settlement, we received another transmission. It's even clearer than before. Isn't this the street that we're on? It must have been a road to let cars through. It'll probably lead us to a factory or some kind of facility. Maybe a city even even. Could there really be survivors? There's no way. It's huge. Must have been a real tourist attraction. This isn't the place either, right? No, we need to go a little further. The transmission tower's at 12 o'clock. Do you see it? Not too well, thanks to the fog, but I can still make out the outline. The coordinates show the message originating from there. It must be being sent from the transmission tower. We're almost there, then. Let's go. Any chance we can stop and smell the roses? Come again. Since it's a tourist attraction, there must be a lot to see. I won't stop you, but I wouldn't recommend it. How come? What do you think happened to all the humans who weren't chosen to stay in the Ark? Back then, human weaponry didn't even leave a scratch on raptures. It was suicide to engage the enemy. All people could do was evade the raptures until the Ark opened its doors once again. Or to find a different place to hide out permanently. Raptures were bloodthirsty beyond all reason. And the Ark has never reopened its doors. Some people fell into despair and gave up. 
but some sought out major cities. They wanted to die with some dignity, in a place that reminded them of better days. You see how the roads are all deserted. That's because everyone ended it quietly in their own homes. If you start poking around, you'll end up seeing more than you bargained for. I understand. I won't interfere. Let's go, Commander. We're nearly there. Roger. Mm. Oh. Another voice message. I'll play it. Everyone gathers. This place. Paradise. Country. Same as always. Oh. Oh boy. Ah. Uh. Help. Help. What, what, what was that? Sounds like they're in trouble. Let's hurry. Roger. Okay, now we were slightly under underpowered, so I leveled up everyone two levels. And I upgraded novels. Novel got two new pieces of gear that were tier four, so I upgraded those ones to level one. And now here we are, just barely over the limit for the boss fight. Let's go. I knew it. Even if there was a settlement, the survivors, there's no way the raptures wouldn't have left it alone. You never know, there may still, still. You heard the yelling. The raptures sent out that voice message to lure people here. People who had lost hope that heard, heard that message then came here. Dreaming of a new life. They'd regained hope, then the raptors killed every last one of them. Let's go back, Commander. I don't want to see what's over there. We need to see this through to the end. What's the point? You know, even if we go, there's nothing we can do. It's the least we can do for those who died. Let's keep going. Roger that. Oh, I really don't like this. Alright. It is time for you guys to... Fiddle load. Say hello to our old friend, Blacksmith. I don't know why they love this boss so much. <laughs> I really don't. Also, I learned something while I was playing that I haven't really tried before. So when we need to, like, dodge, that's really not going to take out the... Okay, then. Yeah, when we need to block, whoever the AI is currently on, I can click them and they'll still get to the best I can also just automatically switch which unit mic the AI is currently on as well. I never bothered to try it. But like last night, very surprising. Yeah, the boss is but the ultimate went off and took them out for herself. Okay. What, 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 but I hit it! You guys saw that! It hit the freaking marker! What the hell? Now it's a freaking jack. I think I showed that. I said that. bar for that is, a, is the freaking circle's health bar. I need to deplete the yellow in it. I've never noticed that till now. That's why when I hit it with novel it didn't do much. Because her damage is not really all that great. I mean it makes sense now. I think, I think we have novel with her you know, he's up there. And that was perfectly timed for that ultimate, by the way. They instantly take off the rockets. But hey, we did it. 
pretty much on auto. All I had to do was take out the circles. I only managed to do that one time, though. Yeah. As you can see, Novel's damage is not enough to even take out a circle. To stop the power before it activates. Where are we? It's a theme park. I know that. Wasn't this where the last survivor of the survivors gathered? So... Oh. Just then, I received a voice message on my phone. I open it. Gather around, children. This place is our own little country. A paradise where everyone is happy. Happy fantasy land. The fastest roller coaster in the world. Yeah, it wasn't screams from the raptures. It's just a recording that was on the audio uh, file for, you know, the theme park. The tallest log ride in the world. The most exciting pirate ship. Help, help. All at the Happy Fantasy Land. It's all a misunderstanding, that one. So, the message which made it all the way to the Ark was just an advertisement for an amusement park. Pretty much, yeah. Seems that way. Alright, mission complete then. Let's go back. She seems to be a lot happier now that she knows this. I think this place still has power. Can we go, get, go on some rides? Get real. There's not a chance in hell that anything here is still running. Besides, we're over the weight limit for roller coasters. She's right. True. But Master is human. Wait, so you want me to have fun in your place? You know what'll happen if this roller coaster ends up breaking down? <laughs> How do you read this? Up, up, and away. It's the tallest Ferris wheel in the world. 300 meters to be exact. How exciting. Can we go on it, Master? I don't know. It seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, a Ferris wheel that hasn't been maintained in probably way too long. But it's the only ride that's still operational. It's our only option. There's another option. Don't ride anything. Sure, but what a letdown that would be. How come you cannot? How can you not be excited with the tallest Ferris wheel in the world? Commander, we don't know how long the power will last. Make a decision. Wait, so you're not against it? We'd ride it if we could. We may not be able to, but it'll be nice if you take it for a spin. I'll have to think about it. I don't do well, well with heights, you know. Oh god. Oh no. The Ferris wheel makes an ominous sound as it slowly ascends. After a while, it reaches its peak. Hey, I get to see the world from up here. Suddenly, I saw the land laid out before me. A vast expanse reaching out into infinity. It was a far cry from the view seen in the ark. As I watched, it was as if I could hear the landscape speak to me. How long are you going to continue living in the cramped dark place? No caller ID. End. Well, that's the end of the story. To be honest, I was hoping the story would last longer. Sadly, it didn't. We're out of runs. And hard mode doesn't unlock for 5 days, 17 hours. But I'm, but I'm just going to say this right now. That blacksmith fight, I was barely able to do when it's 14 something K. How much you want to bet hard mode goes up to maybe 20 K for blacksmith? Maybe even 22. It'd be nuts, let's just say that. Claim all. Claim. Alright. Shop. Advanced recruit voucher. Max. Bye. And as you can see, the 50 points we have was the very first mission I ever did. 
We haven't gotten 50 points since. Which is really saddening now that I think about it. Alright. DX mode for stage 4. I have no clue what this is. Let's try it. And hopefully we can do it. Then we'll have enough for 210 shots. Oh, it's you. Vulcan R. About that whole I I hope we can do it thing. Um, yeah. About that. We're definitely overpowered for this one. Thankfully. Everyone go after Vulcan. No one is healed. on. There we go. Void wipe. I love it. Oh, hey, look, it's our favorite AOE enemy over there. What's the tank? Jump right in front of us. Alright, GG. We. Managed to do another EX. Not bad, not bad. Mission Korea, 300 gems. Thank you very much. So I do wish that we had enough power to continue the main story. I don't think we do. Okay. Recruit. Ten shot. Tetra. Oh, novel one star, okay. Thank you, game. I love novel. She's great. Yes. Okay, now, I'll say this. On my phone's account with Yan and Scarlet, I did the event, I got the rewards, I pulled, I got a double SSR on my 3000 gems. We got Helm and Mary on that account. So I'm honestly not surprised I didn't get Helm here. But. We may not have got Helm, we did however get an SSR that was actually beneficial to us. Our current power is 14,899. Now that we got a 1 star for Novel, 2810 is currently her power level. She can now go up to level 120 along with her on. Twenty eight, twenty nine, ninety one. She is now one star, which means our current squad power now is fifteen thousand and eighty because we have 
One star hut on. One star novel. Now, it sucks that we didn't get Helm on this account. But again. I'm not really all that keen on getting Helm in the first place. Yes, I would love to have her. Technically, I already have her on another account. I don't need her on two accounts. I just wanted her at least on one. And now she's on the account that has that had Alice already. Which, by the way, I will say, though, that the damage that she put out along compared to Alice... I mean, it felt like she was doing obviously sig significantly less damage. But the healing would be nice in a long, drawn-out fight that would probably kick our ass otherwise. Because she gives lifesteal on hit. For 10 seconds, I believe. With her burst. Which is really freaking nice. So that team might be able to beat the train finally on uh, rank D. Because all we, all we really have a problem with is surviving at that point. And I will not be getting any gems anytime soon, anywhere near close to enough to do another 10 shot on Helm's banner on this account. That sucks, yes. Oh yeah, and I also did another freaking uh, SSR guarantee. No. And that's just how a high quality uh, thing. Did we get, you know, an SSR? No. No, we did not. We literally. I honestly don't remember who the heck we got. I think it might have been Micah. Not sure. But yeah, that sucked. Massively. But we're currently 15,080. We got upgrade stuff from the event. Which should arguably help us out. And Noise and Novel are both Tetra, right? So if we go to the recycling room and buff up Tetra... Like right here, we get the resources for it. We can increase novel and noises damage and defense, making them slightly better. Also, now that we're at 10, we need 30 to go to 11, which really sucks. This is just pure for attacker class Nikkei's. All the way to level 2. And now. Haran and Rapi now have an increase to attack and I mean HP and defense. It's pretty nice. I don't have defense stuff. Oh, supporter class also now gets HP and defense increase. Okay, okay. So we were not at 10,100, right? Elysian's level 3 right now. Here is... Missilis. Do I have any Missilis? In my team? I don't think I do. Also again, Pilgrim right here. Oh my god, we got 10 for Pilgrim. Oh man, Haran's gonna get a freaking damage increase. Yes, please, in defense. Plus 25 more attack to Haran. Oh, by the way, I th I believe I read that Haran is, you know, bugged. So she's doing, I, th I believe, more damage than she probably should be doing. So I need to take advantage of her damage while I can. Because she'll probably go down and dumps a little bit. Which is going to make me really sad because I really like her damage. Play knees. Be nice if we could get at least maybe 50 gems per... One of these. But, I mean, we used to only get 10. Now we get 20. So maybe if we get to 6 stars, we'll probably get... 40? At most, per dispatch that we get uh, gems for. That'd be nice. 
Okay, we beat Blacksmith on hard mode on the event. And then this showed up. Looks like we can close this case. So that voice message came all the way from that theme park. Certainly didn't expect that. Anyway, since you ensured all power was shut off, it shouldn't happen again. Anything else to report? I rode the Ferris wheel? <laughs> Did you say Ferris wheel? It was the tallest in the entire world. I see. How was it? It was fun. Glad to hear it. You can leave now. Shifty. Yes? Run a probability for me on a scenario. A derelict theme park that's been abandoned for decades. With only a ferris wheel still operating. Transmits a voice message which reaches the arc. One moment. 0 0.000. Alright, I get the picture. Somehow it managed to defy those odds. Unless there was some external force helping it along. Anyway, we'll consider this case closed. Good job. It doesn't matter if something like this happens occasionally. Uh-huh, but if something like this happening occasionally could possibly still get someone killed. Still can't believe the character actually went on the Ferris wheel to begin with. <laughs> Either way, that is the entire story now for Color ID done. They actually put a little bit of on the end there. Can't believe it. Didn't, what, what was the power supposed to be for this? 40,000? How the hell did they ever expect people to do that? Thankfully, they dropped it. And now that that is over, I will now be right back when we're at to continue on with chapter two. Forgot I actually managed to beat that.